Seven local news. As you heard earlier, Crocs coach Paul Wolpert will face the NBL tribunal via phone tomorrow after being charged on two counts after Saturday night's clash against Wollongong. Wolpert's facing suspension after being ejected on half-time, but at fired Townsville up, the Crocs produced a 24-point third quarter to keep the Hawks anchored on the bottom of the ladder. There were no signs of anger when the coach returned, just calm determination to clear his name. I'm just still learning about how the things work over here. Uh, but, uh, you, know, we'll, uh, you know, we'll sit down and look at the tape and, and decide what to do next. It was a different story in the sand pit. Woolpert was wild with rage. Yeah, he just doesn't feel like he's had his fair share of the calls. And you know what? He hasn't. He hasn't. I warned him. I said, don't yell out at me across the floor. I've come halfway across. He screamed at me again. Referee Michael Aylan's decision to eject the Crocs coach raised more than a few eyebrows. It drew the NBL's attention. They've charged Woolpert with unsportsmanlike conduct and using abusive language. I think it may be his sunburn from being down the beach, his red face. But um, uh, it was, I think it would give us, gave us a boost. Assistant coach Liam Flynn stepped into Woolpert's shoes. The Crocs didn't miss a beat. Chris Cedar unleashed in the second half, the rookie recording a career-high 15 points. He single-handedly took care of their press by just pushing the ball up the floor and, and did a phenomenal job. But it was Jacob Holmes who'd clipped the Hawks' wings. The veteran drained 13 points, snagged 16 rebounds and 7 assists. He just looks like a new man. Townsville are now third on the ladder. Veronica Eggleton, 7 News.